In a quiet corner of a bustling city lived a man named Leo. Leo was a successful businessman, known for his affluence and influence in the corporate world. He was driven, always looking for the next deal, the next opportunity, and the next acquisition. His life was a whirlwind of meetings, negotiations, and constant striving for success. Leo's home was a reflection of his life, opulent, lavish, and overflowing with material possessions. His wardrobe was filled with designer suits, his garage boasted a collection of high-end cars, and his living space was adorned with expensive art and furniture. He believed that success was measured by the quantity and quality of the things he possessed. One evening, after a long day of meetings and discussions, Leo returned home. He entered his grand mansion and felt a strange emptiness. It was as though the very walls that had once been filled with the echoes of laughter and life were now devoid of meaning. As he entered his expansive kitchen, the sense of emptiness deepened. He swung open his cupboard to find it filled with canned and packaged food, yet it seemed utterly barren. The rows of neatly organized jars and boxes, despite being filled with gourmet delights, felt hollow. It was as if the food had lost its essence, merely occupying space in a life filled with excess. This peculiar emptiness gnawed at Leo's consciousness. He sat at his grand dining table, surrounded by the finest china and silverware, yet the richness that once flowed from his possessions had dissipated. He wondered if he had been consuming life, much like he had consumed food and possessions, without savoring the true essence of living. It was in that moment of contemplation that Leo made a decision. He decided to embark on a journey of simplicity, of emptiness. He began by donating a significant portion of his belongings, including clothes, cars, and artwork, to those in need. He watched as his home transformed into a minimalist sanctuary. Leo's transformation didn't stop at his possessions, it extended to his daily routine. He realized that he had filled every moment of his life with busyness. There were meetings, calls, and events from sunrise to sunset, leaving no room for introspection or connection with the world beyond his corporate endeavors. To address this, Leo started to simplify his schedule. He learned to say no to commitments that didn't align with his true passions and values. He created space in his life for activities that brought him joy and contentment. Instead of filling every moment with productivity, he began to savor the emptiness between tasks, allowing for serenity and reflection. As he ventured down this path of simplicity, Leo discovered mindfulness and meditation. He attended retreats in tranquil natural settings, far removed from the chaos of his daily life. It was during one of these retreats that he encountered a Zen master named Hiroshi. Hiroshi had a presence that resonated with Leo. His calm demeanor and deep wisdom drew Leo in, and they began to engage in conversations that transcended the superficiality of everyday chatter. Leo found himself sharing his journey of emptiness with Hiroshi, who listened attentively. Leo, Hiroshi said one evening, as they sat under the vast expanse of the starry sky, emptiness is not a void to be filled, it is the space where transformation occurs. It is the canvas upon which the essence of life can be painted. Leo pondered Hiroshi's words. It was as if he had been given permission to let go of the compulsion to fill every moment with something. He realized that true richness lay not in amassing material possessions but in the depth of one's experiences and connections. In the following months, Leo continued to explore the wisdom imparted by Hiroshi. He learned to embrace the moments of emptiness in his life, whether it was the quiet before a business meeting or the stillness of a morning meditation. He discovered that these moments were not a waste of time but an opportunity to connect with his inner self and the world around him. One day, as he walked through a park, Leo encountered a young girl named Sophie who was sitting alone on a bench, staring at the trees. Her innocence and curiosity struck a chord in him. He approached her and asked, What are you doing, Sophie? She looked up with bright eyes and replied, I'm watching the trees breathe. Leo was taken aback by her answer. 
He had never paid such close attention to the natural world around him. With Sophie's guidance, he began to see the beauty in the simplest of things, the rustling of leaves, the chirping of birds, and the gentle swaying of branches. He also began to volunteer at a local soup kitchen, serving meals to the less fortunate. There, he met people from all walks of life, each with their unique stories and struggles. He realized that the richness of life wasn't solely in the pursuit of success, but in the act of giving, of connecting with others on a profound level. In his journey of emptiness, Leo discovered the profound impact of selflessness. He found that by letting go of the need to fill every moment with his desires and ambitions, he made room for compassion and empathy. His interactions with others were no longer driven by self-interest but by a genuine desire to connect and make a positive difference in their lives. As Leo continued on his path of emptiness, he found himself feeling richer than ever before. His once hollow cupboard was now filled with the sustenance of meaningful experiences and genuine connections. He had embraced the emptiness in his life not as a void but as a canvas for the art of living. One evening, he returned to the park where he had first met Sophie. She was there, still watching the trees. Leo sat down beside her and said, Sophie, thank you for teaching me the beauty of emptiness. Sophie smiled and replied, It's not emptiness, Leo. It's space, and in that space, we find the fullness of life. Leo nodded for he had discovered that true richness was not in the abundance of possessions but in the depth of experiences and the connections formed in the vast expanse of an open heart. The emptiness he had once feared had become the space for transformation, growth, and the true essence of living. And so, Leo continued his journey, walking the path of emptiness with a heart filled with gratitude and a spirit that was richer than any material possession. He had found the fullness of life in the embrace of simplicity, mindfulness, and the profound connections with others.